solve for x such that x to the power of x to the power of x equals x to the power of x. What shall we do firstly? Exponential forms. So we can take a natural log on the both sides. So on the left hand side, it's the natural log of x to the power of x to the power of x equals the natural log of x to the power of x. The exponent of our left hand side is actually x to the power of x. So this one is the exponent. And the exponent of our right hand side is, of course, this x. So what shall we do? Now we use the formula. The natural log of a to the power of b equals b times the natural log of a. Very good. So now it's going to be x to the power of x times the natural log of x equals x times the natural log of x. Now maybe you're going to say we can divide the both sides by natural log of x and this guy will disappear. Of course, you cannot. Why? because this one can be equal to zero. So we have to consider the case if the natural log of x equals zero. If the natural log of x equals zero, so that means x is actually e to the power of zero, which is equal to one. Check if x equals one is an answer, is a solution. One to the power of one to the power of one equals one to the power of one. This is a true statement. So x equals 1 is a solution. Then, if natural log of x is not equal to 0, of course, in this case, we can divide both sides by it. It is x to the power of x equals x. Very good. Now, we've simplified the equation. Simply in this form, now we just solve this equation, x to the power of x equals x. Since x cannot be 0, because then our right hand side will be 0 to the power of 0, which doesn't make any sense. So if x is not equal to 0, we can divide both sides by x, and the right hand side will be 1. So divide both sides by x, x to the power of x minus 1 equals 1. Now you see, the left hand side has an exponential form, and the right hand side is just 1. And 1 is a very nice number, isn't it? So here we actually have three cases. Firstly, x is 1. Of course, now 1 to the power of any number is equal to 1. However, we cannot accept x equals 1. Why? Because then our natural log of x will be equal to 0, which does not correspond to our this case. So we have to abandon x equals 1. Of course, x minus 1 can be equal to 0, since any non-zero real number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And in this case, x equals 1. Here, 1 to the power of 0 equals 1. It's always true. However, x equals 1 cannot be accepted for the same reason, because then the natural log of 1 is 0, which does not correspond to our this case. Our this equation, x to the power of x equals x, is under the condition the natural log of x is not equal to 0. So do not forget. Of course, we also have our third case. That is, x is negative 1. However, we have to check that if our exponent is an even number x minus 1 is minus 2, and obviously negative 2 is 2 times negative 1, which is an even integer. So x equals negative 1 is also a solution. If you want, you can also substitute it in the original equation, and you will get negative 1 to the power of negative 1 to the power of negative 1 equals negative 1 to the power of negative 1. You end up with negative 1 equals negative 1, which is always true. So we've got two solutions, and they are x equals 1 or x equals negative 1. 
Do you get them? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!